what's up? This is Ben Barker with the Dad Wad and my friend Paul joining me today. And everybody's got all these squat mobility videos out there of floss this, floss that, roll that, you know, stick a lacrosse ball here. And I just wanted my friend Paul to take a some time today to show us some of his methods to develop a better squat, which he has spent a couple years now working on. Yeah, squat's something I love. I think it's an integral part of human movement. I think in the fitness world, it's often touted as that thing where you go up and down on, uh, but sitting in it and making this dynamic can lead to some really wonderful things. So, yeah. What you got for me? Show me something. I want you to change positions with me. How's that? Okay. So, why don't you waddle over here? Oh, Lord. I'll waddle over here. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, so the only thing, you know, what, if we're gonna simplify a method to be good at something, it's just do more of it, and then start to learn the subtlety of yes. it, and then you can learn from teachers and stuff, but uh, just doing more of something is actually sure. quite good. So, so for this, if you can't get into a squat, just stay in it as much as you can, and whenever you need to stand up or, or bail out of this, you just bail out and jump okay. back in okay. on this whenever you okay. want, see? There you go. <laughs> yeah, all right, so. Let's start with, if you can get into it, let's start with this, probably the simplest movement, but the hardest thing is just taking your toes, if you can see that on camera, and just turn your toes to the outside, and then back. Toes to the outside, and back. Now, full disclaimer, I didn't invent any of this stuff. I learned this from people who were very good at squatting. Um, I, I was already able to get down into the squat, but all of this stuff really helped open up and, and change the tissues in the position to make the position more functional. Sure. Right? So when you can manipulate switch feet, oh, when you can manipulate little pieces like this, you can start to understand the squat a bit better. Oh, so if somebody says, hey, turn your toes in, you're like, oh, got it, because yes. I, know, I know how to move that toe. And okay? in CrossFit, we talk a lot about you know creating torque when we squat, and I think this is a great way to kind of develop some awareness of your body and how to create that torque as we squat. Absolutely. And this is a difficult thing to teach because it's just so hard to get into, yeah, period. Right? Sure. Okay, so from there, then we're going to go up a joint. We're going to go to the knee. So go back to the other knee and just make some circles with it. You'll notice as you make circles that like the rest of your body will move. I'll, I'll raise up my hand so you can see this. The yeah. hips will move. The, the, the spine will move. Um, try to make the circles as wide as you can. We used to do this this dance back in high school, Paul. So yeah. Do the stanky leg. You know that? <laughs> it was big. It was big at prom. I remember a dance it's, like it's this, but it wasn't prom. my knee that was moving. <laughs> 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 and so when you do this, you can try to keep the foot flat on the floor. This is actually a bit harder. So if you need to, you just move that foot around and kind of roll it off the floor, and that'll be just fine too. You'll see that the, the knee can move a lot, a lot wider. Switch directions on that. So that's your choice, keeping the foot flat is hard, and then moving it around and allowing the foot to pick up as your knee moves, that's just a bit uh, a bit easier, and it, it's still gonna teach you the same thing. Sure. Go to the other knee now, and we'll go circles here. Okay. Okay. Is it bad if I can't lift my foot off the ground? Like, I don't think it wants to. I don't say, I wouldn't say it's bad, right? But like, oh like it's definitely more limited. Let's okay. put it that way. Can, sure. we, can we frame it in that context? Yes, yeah, sure. So like, if somebody said, you know, Ben, manipulate your knees like this, you, you would go, okay, can only go so far before I can't. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. All right, switch directions. And you can see how Ben's moving his knee? Like, you just move at whatever capacity you can. It doesn't have to look like this. I think that's one of the, the major problems in mobility is we think if it doesn't look like this exact thing, we are not getting that benefit. But it's really just about doing what you can and exploring it. Sure. Right? Good, so now we're gonna go up a joint, okay? So now we move the hip, okay? So, <laughs> speaking of dances. Yes. So you're going to take the hip and you're going to pull it back and then you're going to sink it forward. And what this is going to give you an awareness of doing is that the, the hip flexors and the quads are gonna help you pull it back. You can rotate the hip if you'd like, that's pelvic tilt, or okay. you can just move it. Can you give and us then, a lateral view of that? Yeah, sure, sure. So then, when you go back, you kind of have to use the muscles that push, and then when you pull forward, you kind of use the muscles that pull. Okay. When you pull, hamstring is engaged, anterior tib, and if you want to, again, rotate or tilt the pelvis as you do that, that's entirely up to you, okay? okay. We're not talking about a flat back here, we're just moving yeah. backward, moving forward. Sure, I think okay. I saw Miley Cyrus do this in a right. music video. Absolutely, time. absolutely. I don't think, I'm not sure I can do that. Well, Miley did it. You can go take instructions <laughs> from her. 
So this is right about the point where you start to realize that you're gonna look really stupid doing this yes. stuff, okay? It's not your cool mobility where you got a band and you got a ball and you got some dude who's you know going over you going, yeah, right there, bro. <laughs> this is like really weird stuff because we don't move our hips this way. But again, you know, you're gonna learn a whole lot about how to turn this position into something very functional with these little tiny drills. Okay? So real fast, three drills we worked on today and we'll be back with more later on is turning that foot in and out, kind of getting an awareness of where mm -hmm. those feet are at, switching back and forth. Yep. And then Paul moved it up a joint and we got that stanky leg. Bam. Moving those hips, that knee, Stankin one it. direction, the other direction. And then we've got that little hip action where we're tilting the pelvis anteriorly. Well, tilt would be this. Yes. You can work on that if you'd like, ah. right? See the back position, but we're literally just placing it backward and then squeezing it forward. One, yeah. two, and three ways we can perfect our squat in a couple easy ways actually by doing a squat. No floss necessary. Bam.